What's up everybody? This is Ingram, one of the Minecrafters, and today we're back with uh, how to upgrade TechIt Lite. Um, it's kind of a two-part process. If you have a server that you and your friends play on that you need to update, you're going to have to do uh, part one first, and then we'll do uh, part two. So we're going to update the client in part one and the server in part two. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to go to themindcrafters.com, and we have a client and server upgrade guide, and there's a link in the description below. Um, what we're going to do is I'm going to go through what's in here. I might do it too fast, so if I do, uh, check out the link. You're going to need to go there for the download anyway. So let's download for Windows uh, Technic Launcher. This is pretty quick to do, and we're going to move this to the desktop. And all we're going to do is we're going to run that. The new Technic Launcher is quite a bit different. Um, you notice that the first thing it wants to do is it's going to change the installation directory. Um, I'm just going to leave that. What that means is that um, this Arthas is my username, um, and Technic.Technic is the new folder. Uh, it previously was .Technic Launcher. So anything you have in there is going to get lost. Um, uh, whoops cancel that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to make sure we have Tech It Lite selected. This is like a little list of all the different mod packs. You can customize it. You can add your own. We're going to pick Tech It Lite. Then we're going to go ahead we're going to change the settings on here and we're going to make sure that this select build is 061. Um, if it's not, you can go to manually select the build and from this list you can pick 061. Um, we'll just use always use recommended. You can see that you can technically you can change the folder if you want to. We're just going to leave it. That's fine. Um, and you might have to change this as well. Memory, I'll give it like 12 gig. Um, it should never need that much. Actually, you know what? Let me dial it back. And go. We'll go ahead and save that, and then we'll restart. Here we go. And all you got to do is put your login credentials in there. And it will go ahead, and you can see that it's going to download uh, Minecraft. It's going to download the TechIt Lite new pack. It'll install everything, and then you're ready to go. So if you're just doing a client upgrade, at this point, you're, you're done. Um, however, if you are also running a server, you're going to need to upgrade that. You're going to need to sit tight. We're going to go through how to get that handled. Okay, so let's get the server upgraded. Now, before we do anything, before we show any links, before we do anything at all, back that server up please uh, the easiest way this is our tech it light server folder um, the easiest way to make sure the whole thing and not just your world is backed up is just to right click it and do add to server.rar if you want you can put it in the best compression mode to save space and we'll just let this thing run um, and when it's done we should be okay we should be backed up if you want to be safe you can do it a couple more times but I'll just do it once because I have other backups in other places and I put those backups you can see over here I put them in our Dropbox folder so if my computer bites it hard um, we're still we're still okay okay so I backed it up you can see here I got my little RAR and it's go time so we'll go back to our uh, client server upgrade guide if we scroll down a little bit we have all the steps here and what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna download and I keep forgetting to delete the other one but uh, we're going to download uh, Tech It Lite Server 061, and that will get downloaded. I'm going to open up my downloads folder, and I'm going to open up my desktop because I have our <clears throat> Tech It Lite Server on the desktop. And what I'm going to do is, if we open up the zip file, the ones that the files and folders that we need to change are config core mods mod. There's a new file called minecraftserver.jar and, of course, techitlite.jar. Now, these launch bat, launch sh, and server properties files have not changed since early January, so we don't actually need to uh, worry about copying those over. In fact, you don't want to. If you have custom server properties, um, we have you know different world height and all that stuff, um, you're going to not want to touch those files. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab the config, core mods, the mods, and techitlight.jar file. We're going to delete those. Or we backed them up. You better have backed them up. So it should be okay to delete them. Then I'm just going to grab one, two, three, four, five in here. 
drag and drop them into our Tech It Lite server folder. And if I go ahead and run the launch command, we should be up and running. Now, when I did, I, I tested it out before so that I'm not <laughs> giving you guys bad information. Um, I noticed that it was complaining about one of the um, world's leaking memory. Um, and it doesn't seem to be too bad. So here, what we're seeing, I'm just going to scroll up a little bit. See all this error standard out, skipping tile entity with pneumatic generator and all that, and it's complaining about a couple different pipes. Well, Tekkit Lite doesn't have pneumatic generators in it anymore. It doesn't have um, uh, it doesn't have the HV wooden transport pipes, and unfortunately, it doesn't have the. Uh, here we go. It's complaining about. It's going to complain about memory a little bit. Um, it doesn't have adjustable electric engines either. So and that's kind of, I don't know why they took that out. It's kind of a big deal. Um, we're definitely going to have a couple things that are broken in our server. Uh, but if we go ahead and we go to multiplayer, I'm going to cut out real quick, uh, add our server in here. Okay, so if we go ahead, we have our uh, Tech It Lite server. And when I log in, we should see in the window that it's letting me log in in the background there. Um, and here we go. Everything seems to be uh, running fine. If you notice, I'll just show you real quick. We had uh, a pneumatic generator right there on either side, actually. And those are gone now. Our remote power core, Mark II, is going to have to have a couple replacements. I just pop into creative mode here, and I'll show you what I mean. Um, the easiest way to do it. Whoop. See, you can see there. The uh, the item is there, but it's not. So, because it's not in the mod anymore. So if we do that, then we're good. Our remote core is back up and running. So, not too many things changed. Uh, well, actually, there's a lot of new stuff in here. Check out the change log. Um, there's not too many bad things. You know, things that that got removed. Um, there's a lot of cool things in here now. Make sure to check it out. At this point, you should be all set. Your server should be upgraded. You should be ready to roll. Now you gotta you gotta have fun going through and. Uh, Figuring out what was replaced, what's gone, what's what's uh, what's new, a lot of cool stuff. Check out the change log. I'll put the link in the description as well. As always, thanks for watching. Have fun with your new Tech It Light server and stay poised.